this humility, humility and prema is nearly called. This very interesting point, even Radharani said, I don't have any love or a drop of love for Krishna. And Radharani is personally saying, this is very interesting. And Gurudev was a few days ago told us, someone who into in the Lira, observing Lira, that person does not share. Someone who hankering to enter the Lira, to dive, to dive the Lira, that person share. Guru Dev is like, uh, describe the, uh, the kind of feeling. Someone who is a very great Vaishnava, they don't share. Because uh, he's thinking, I'm not devotee. I'm, I'm more tasting in the Lira, in the chanting. So he does not have time to share. But, uh, Guru Dev is so kind. He come down to our level and share us. Even Nara Maharaj and Prabhupada also, they are so much high stage, but they come down to the Madhyama Vaishnava sometimes or come to the, our level. And then and that Vaishnava could talk. Sometimes we feel Gurudev. Gurudev is so kind. <coughs> come to our level and share. So just I want to say this humbleness and someone who has love and, and pure deep Pure devotional service, very, very connected. And if, if we have a tendency to judge others, then we are, we may say we are Kanishta Vaishnava, including me. So, and if we observed in the Lira, observe in the, in the Lhasa, and dive into the Lira, Guru Dev say, we, sh we, we should not swim the surface. Go into deep and dive it. That, that person does not, does not have time or does not have tendency to judge others. So we could see Guru Dev's behavior. Uh, behavior. This is very interesting. This is, this Tunadpi verse is so important for us. And Gorabani uh, Prabhu explain so nicely. We are always thankful. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Thank you very much, Jayananda Maharaj. It's so wonderful that you explained how the Uttama Adhikari is stepping down, actually. This is also written in the scriptures that the Uttama Adhikari, because of mercy, like Prabhupada, he wanted to follow his order of his spiritual master to actually distribute this knowledge in the Western countries. And Prabhupada did. His whole life he offered actually for the wish of his guru. And he was stepping down from his platform of Uttama Adhikari just to converse with us, to, to, uh, to give Krishna consciousness to a bunch of hippies and other people who were not very elevated meat eaters, truck takers, and whatever. But this is not a judgment. 
I mean, if you, you can see people like they are and you don't have to judge them, but we have to distinguish sometimes uh, on what platform these people are, because then we can make a decision if we have some association or not. Maybe it's better to avoid. So we have to distinguish, but we should not judge people because in my case, I can say <laughs> whom I could judge. I went to all of these lower states of life and uh, so who I am to judge anyone. So, but we sometimes we have to make a distinction just to see on what platform are these people or even maybe devotees to understand if we want to have association and this is good for us or maybe not. It doesn't mean judgment. So, but we have to be conscious about this. This is very, um, yes, it's, it's very much required that we are conscious. And a Uttama Vadikari is seeing everyone very on a very high level. Like our Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj, he's always talking about his disciples. Um, I learn from you, you're such a big devotee, you're such a great devotee, you're such a high level, and I learn from you. This is the state of a Uttama Adhikari who sees everyone more far on the way of love than himself. And you are completely right, Jainanda, this is a, a very important point for us. Very important point. And you made another very wonderful point that humbleness is coming out of love, actually. If we really love, we don't want to be a disturbance for that uh, person we love, right? So we may be very shy and humble because we won't, we, we won't do any mistake or disturbance. So if we want to get more of this love, we don't want to make any mistake. And we actually are praying for more and more and more. And humbleness will grow out of this love. I only know this theoretically. Sorry that I share on this because actually I should not, because I have no experience. Text 30. Could you no. repeat the 29th bus? Yes. Korabaniji. Yes, you are right. Text 29. This is the fourth Shikshashtakam verse. Nadanam Najanam Nasundaring Kavitangva Jagadish Kamaye Mama Janmani Janmanishvare Bhavatat Bhakti Ahaituki Tvai O Lord of the Universe I do not desire material wealth materialistic followers. A beautiful wife or fruitive activities described in flowery language. All I want, life after life, 
is unmotivated devotional service to you. O Lord of the universe, I do not desire material wealth, materialistic followers, a beautiful wife, or fruitive activities described in flowery language. All I want, life after life, is unmotivated devotional service to you. So we may understand this verse in different ways, in different moods. Because it's beginning with, O oh Lord of the universe, I could say, well, I'm not interested in the Lord of the universe. And all the things which are connected with that, I'm also not interested. All I want is unmotivated devotional service, unmotivated, completely pure, without any motivation, not even for my spiritual enjoyment, or to speak of materialistic enjoyment, not even for my spiritual enjoyment. I want life after life completely unmotivated devotional service to you. So the question would arise where I can get completely unmotivated devotional service to Krishna? From the person who speaks these words. It's the mood of Radha, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling this. So if we want to have this, we should actually ask her or him, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Radharani is the source of the highest unmotivated devotional service to Krishna. So if we want to have this life after life, because we don't know how fallen our position is really, how often we have to be born again, I don't know. That's why life after life, please let me stay on this path. Let me pray again and again, life after life, that I stay on this path. And that I may be one day the servant of the servant of the servant, completely unmotivated, serve that servants who serve this person Radharani is speaking from her beloved. So if we understand that actually these verses are spoken in ecstasy by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the mood of Radha, then we may get a scent of these feelings. And because our Guru Manjari was opening us this mood connecting us with this mood, we may get a drop of this, at least some idea in which direction it will go. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because he is the source, he was distributing this madness freely to everyone. Jainana Maharaj, maybe you want to 
at something. Are you speaking already? Because I cannot hear. Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, now. So, like, uh, so this was many important point I feel, and then especially unmotivated devotional service. Because uh, for us neophyte devotee, we are sometimes desire material things. Oh, I need money. I need a beautiful wife or a nice husband. I need a nice house to live. This is okay. Okay. But if we want to desire spiritual goal, spiritual de devotional service, Pure devotional service. Here say, from beginning is okay. But uh, if we advance, then this is some blockage, block ourselves. Because finally we have to select, we want to spiritual thing or we want to material thing. And Gurudev used to say, mixing spiritual and material things, that is sin. And we have seen, if we have little bit ego or a little bit material desire, some suffering coming. But actually not suffering. This is our correction. Lada Dani or material energy, maybe Durga Devi, <laughs> show us, oh, this is your blockage. You have to clear it. And if you clear, you can go more higher level, spiritual consciousness. And this unmotivated thing is very, I feel very important. Because sometimes we do devotional service. Sometimes we care our happiness. Actually, pure devotional service, we care Gurudev's happiness. We care Radha Mohan's happiness. Radha Rani say, if you are satisfied, but I'm suffering, that is my greatest pleasure. But we are thinking, if I am happy, I am glorified, then I will do devotional service. But I am suffering, I am not glorified, then I don't do devotional service. This unmotivated is nothing expectation, no expectation. Just for the pleasure of the Lord, pleasure of the Guru Dev. So we have seen, if we see Guru Dev, how Guru Dev behave, he is acting only our benefit. He is acting only Radha Mohan's pleasure. Sometimes Guru Dev say, sometimes Guru Dev's room, sometimes nobody, Guru Dev said, it's very good symptom because everybody go to Arati. Wow, this is good. Because Senta is Radha Moha, not the Guru. So we feel why we doing devotional service. We have some motivation. We want to glorify. We want to have material benefit. 
or we want to some name fame. But Guru Dev say <coughs> he's doing the 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 pleasure of other devotee, just helping twenty four seven. So fortunately, I've seen Guru Dev's behavior every day. Of course, I'm not every time with Guru Dev, but uh, how he serves the Guru Dev, no devotees, how he's serving on behalf of his Guru Dev. Just seeing his behavior and how he distributes prasada every time. My God. Usually, Guru Dev's, my experience, usually, Guru, Guru Dev eat fast. This is my understanding before. But here, Guru Dev takes rust, always distributing food fast to other devotees. And he eat rust. Oh my God. This is, I was so shocked. So this is unmotivated devotional service. This is simply explained, but this is very deep meaning. So this meaning we could learn from our Guru Dev. That's uh, Rade Rade. Thank you very much. We are growing in every moment. So when we speak here and share, sometimes we may talk about the ideal situation. But this doesn't mean that whoever is sharing on this, like me, are really in the ideal situation. We want to come there. But by sharing again and again and again and again about this ideal situation, we meditate on this ideal situation and we slowly come there. So like Jainanda Maharaj, said, yes, maybe we have some wishes and maybe it's sometimes even needed to take care of this because otherwise you would drop everything. Because ego is telling you, well, if I cannot at least have this, then forget about all. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some of you uh, have some experience. So we should be clever. Our Gurudev told us, you have to balance. We should stay in the balance that actually we can go on because it's a long run. We will not come there in a sprint. It's a long run. We have to take our energy for the long way. So we have to balance. But we should be aware that we should not give too much possibilities that the mind is diving into material things. That's why it's good by yourself to regulate this. And Prabhupada always said, regulation is good. It's a good base for spiritual life. So, in Vaidhi Bhakti, everything is regulated and you have to follow. So people who went to that path, maybe they are a little bit sick of all these rules and regulations. So now they may do their own regulations. That's good. That's free. This is love. Love is giving you the freedom. But then you should be aware. You should watch yourself and maybe by the help of other friends who are also devotees and look at you, maybe they can give you a hint. Your Guru Manjari is always giving you a hint if you like or not, when he has the possibility. So. We have to stay on the path. 
this is most uh, needed. This is the first priority that we stay on the path and grow. But we need to balance. And if we see others, we should not judge. We should take maybe them, for example, to see where we stand. And as inspiration to go further. So all this Shikshashtakam is actually made to give us sugar or sweetness on the way. It's an ideal situation. Radharani is completely mad, completely dived into this loving, selfless mood of devotion and service. She's telling us how we could see actually the whole situation. That's why it's good to meditate on that. On the other side, we have to see where we stand and balance this. Text 31. In great humility, considering himself a conditioned soul of the material world, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again expressed his desire to be endowed with service of the Lord. We know that it is, it is the nature of a pure soul to, to feel when others suffer, how or why they suffer. So, but here we have not just a great soul. <laughs> here we have Radharani's mood inside of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So actually he is speaking this and this verse actually shows that or describes that. He tries to see it from our position. We are deeply fallen. We are conditioned, not he. Radharani feels Viraha. Krishna is gone, far away. She is suffering. She cannot be with him now. So this should be actually also our feeling. Viraha. We are not with Radha. We are in the material world. We are conditioned. So if we understand that feeling, what we can do, we can just pray. Like a lost child crying for mama, helpless. We don't have to find a way out with our consciousness. We don't have to find a solution. We have to even look for it. We just cry, cry for help, like we had yesterday. We send an SOS in the sharing, in the 
soon sharing of Germany, it was like this. We always send an SOS. Yes, we need mercy. We need the help to come out. Completely bereft of the association of your love, your sweet, kind love, Radharani. If we pray in this mood, if we chant in this mood, she will answer. She has to answer. She is love herself. She is mercy herself. She will answer if we cry. So this expression is actually made by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He desires to be endowed with service to the Lord. So if we somehow or other can get this wish and cry for it again and again, then we are in a more safe situation. Text 32. Ai nanda tanuja kinkaram patitang mang vishame bhavam butau kripaya tava pata pankaja stita dhuli satrisham vichintaya. O my Lord, O Krishna, son of Maharaj Nanda, I am your eternal servant. But because of my own fruitive acts, I have fallen in this horrible ocean of nescience, unconsciousness. Now, please be causelessly merciful to me. Consider me a particle of dust at your lotus feet. So this is our situation. And we could pray to Radharani in the same manner. We want to change the ocean out of the horrible ocean of nescience, of unconsciousness, we want to dive in the ocean of sweetness, the ocean of mercy. We want to change the ocean, please. And please, Radharani, consider me a particle of dust at your lotus feet, or at least on the lotus feet of your servant, or the servant of your servant, or the servant of the servant of the servant. And this is the mood. We think we should be happy in transcendental life. Oh yes, jai, jai, always jai. But actually inside, we can do this if we come together. Yes, Jai, we can dance and sing and we, we can be happy because we are in a good way. But actually inside, we are always sad that Radharani is not there. Or better to say, we are not aware that she is there with us all the time. And we are actually always with her. If we could just be aware, just be in our consciousness, in our right consciousness, in the Sitadeya. And this is actually what Raguna Das is praying for all the time. As soon as he comes back, 
as soon as he comes back in his sadhana there, sadak, immediately he is crying, weeping. Immediately. So this is actually what we may consider. If we are not crying immediately when we are in Sadak, then we have still some way to go. Text 33 Tomara Nitya Dasa Mui Toma Pasariya Pratiyachon Bhavanave Maya Bhadahana I am your eternal servant. But I forgot your lordship. Now I have fallen in the ocean of nescience and have been conditioned by the external energy. We all know what that what that means. We are under the control of the three modes of nature. And as long we are under the control of the three modes of nature, we are under the condi we are conditioned by this external energy. And we may understand that Rajaguna and Tamaguna is not very good for spiritual life. But we may also consider that Sattva Guna is also not very helpful. <laughs> I can be attached to be a good person, a good human being. This is also material. Because after all, it's a human being, bad human being, middle human being, passionate, or a very good human being. It's human being. Oh, I have to be very social and I have to be very graceful to others and I have to give. Yes. Do as you like, but this is not spiritual. We want to serve the purest love. This is not material. And sometimes we cannot see what is material love and what is actually spiritual love. Because we are too much in goodness. So this is even a greater hindrance sometimes than to be in passion. <laughs> I see. <laughs> because we were trained in this uh, group where I was in the past. We were trained to be in goodness all the time. But then I saw actually it also can be a very great hindrance so be aware of these three modes of nature, of three, not only two, three modes of nature. We want to be a good person, a good material person. Doesn't help. We want to be spiritual. So we want to go and sit there. In the consciousness of the Seva to Swamini, in the consciousness of Swamini's seva to Krishna. So let us grow together and please, maybe you can give me your blessings that I can grow out of this three modes of nature.
Rade, Rade? Yeah. Can you? Please, more? yes. Can you hear? Yes. We can hear you. <clears throat> so today, Gurudev was talking, I want to share. So Gurudev, uh, uh, this morning and uh, a few days ago also sharing, I want to share Gurudev's words. Sometimes we are thinking past. Sometimes we are thinking future. But the Gurudev is saying, now we should live now. We should not live future, no past. In Hindi, it is say, I don't know, but the Gurudev say, past is Buddha, is ghost. If we think about past, past, oh, this past, this happened, oh, this problem happening, oh, I feel so bad. Or future, okay, future need will be like this. Okay, future should be like this. This is like ghost, Guru Dev said, especially past life is ghost. Guru Dev saying, someone who is Siddha Deha is living now. Sometime I told Guru Dev, oh Guru Dev, I made this mistake or oh, that mistake. Then Guru Dev said, forget past. Live now. That's Guru Dev's instruction for us. For me. And if we think about Krishna's Lila, so we are every day, we are reading or hearing or meditating some of Lila of Radha Moham. Then that Lila is now. Even we are reading, but still now is going on. So if we meditate now, that meditation become slowly, slowly, we, we could live in Siddha Deha. So, and uh, especially Guru Dev was stressing, now is important means consciousness now. Our consciousness is where, where we live. We live past or future or now, or we are thinking material things or spiritual things. We are acting in love or acting in ego. So Guru Dev, this morning, Guru Dev is saying, Live now. <laughs> so this is uh, this uh, morning sharing we, we want to share. Rade, Rade. Thank you very much for sharing this. <clears throat> I think also it's, uh, it's very, very important to live in the now. Unfortunately, sometimes we made something wrong in the past and it's like a rope we have around the neck and the rope is long and we are going on and at some time the rope will stop you. And in this moment, you have to cut the past. So you have to shortly look back what was the mistake. Ah, okay, let me correct and then be again in the now. We learn something from the past, but we want to live in now. And we also have a little bit to look in the future, because otherwise how we could be servants of Radha if we don't look in the future that we want to do this. 
So I just want to specifically go on this point again, because usually we say something, it's very broad, and we may misunderstand actually the meaning. So I wanted to, to go a little bit more into this detail. So doesn't mean that we don't learn from the past and correct and go on, but then forget about all this, because we don't have to judge ourselves for mistakes. This doesn't help. Then it's a ghost. Then it will destroy our life. Also, it's not good to live only in the future because we are not in the future. We are, <laughs> we are now. So, but we have to have some goal. We want to be the servants of Radharani. We want to have the, uh, the qualities of the servants of the servants of Radha. We want to get them. So this is our future. So certainly we have to go for this. But this doesn't mean that you live in the future because you have to make your first step to this now. This means you have to do your bhajan now, not tomorrow. Now, first step, first little step. You may not reach Radha today, but you have to have this goal. So we have to live in now. This is completely, Gurudev is so right. We have to live in now. And go on our way more strong and more strong by closing the past, because we learned out of it, and by making our mind eka, like a laser, laser pointer to Radha's lotus feet. This is the future. And then live in the now. Sorry, I just wanted to make this clear because sometimes people misunderstand. Thank you very much, Gauravani Ji. Very beautiful. Text 34. Kripakari karamore pata duli sama tomara sevaka karon tomara sevana. Be causelessly merciful to me by giving me a blaze with the particles of dust at your lotus feet, so that I may engage in the service of your Lordship as your eternal servant. So when Radharani is offering this prayer, this is a very good moment to grab her feet or because our Guru Manjari grabbed already the feet of Rupa Manjari, who is already hanging there, <laughs> we may grab the lotus feet of our Guru Manjari and so be in the line. Because Radharani wants to serve her beloved, her Lordship. And we want to serve the servant of the servant of her. We want to be in the line so we may crap. This could be our, I mean, it's just, you know, some kind of meditation, like a train. You can always add another wagon, right? <laughs> so, Swamini is the lock, the first. And then there comes Rupa and Rati and you know, Guru Manjari, and we also add. We want to go with this train.
Let us serve the lotus feet who serve love in person. So natural humility and eagerness then awoke in Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He prayed to Krishna to be able to chant the Maha Mantra in ecstatic love. And again, this could be our train we can hang our wagon on. Radharani, the mood of Radharani, so Radharani is praying, Krishna, let me chant the Maha Mantra in ecstatic love. After all, it's her mantra. The Maha Mantra is Radharani's mantra. The Kinkaris sometimes also chant if Radharani is in Viraha. Because it's representing actually the Lila. So it's representing what Radharani is actually wanting to do. She wants to serve her beloved. And this is inside the mantra. The Maha Mantra is pu pure Lila Rasa, pure. That's why she wants to chant in ecstatic love, because then she's completely absorbed. And we heard already that sometimes in Viraha, she feels more close and more happy with her beloved than when she is together with him. Like some, sometimes she feels at home, but she is in the forest, but sometimes she feels in the forest, but she is at home, and so on. We heard that. So that's her mood when she is in meditation about her beloved. She doesn't know where she is. She forgets completely herself. And in this way, she is with her beloved. Text 36, another verse of Shrikshashtakam. My dear Lord, when will my eyes be beautified by filling with tears? that constantly glide down as I chant your holy name. When will my voice falter, falter, and all the hairs on my body stand erect in transcendental happiness as I chant your holy name? My dear Lord, when will my eyes be beautified by filling with tears that constantly glide down as I chant your holy name? When will my voice falter and all the hairs on my body stand erect in transcendental happiness as I Chant your holy name. This is a wonderful meditation given by Radharani through the mouth of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to us. And again, it's like a train. 
Let us hang on our wagon. Because we don't want to chant Krishna's names, <laughs> we want to chant Radha's name, or Krishna's name for Radha, or Radha's and Krishna's name for Radha. We want to serve Radha in her mood. So let us hang on. Let us go this way and meditate in that way. When? We constantly glide down. Tears. When I chant your holy name, Radha. When will my voice falter and my hairs and body stand erect? in transcendental happiness as I chant your holy name. Prema dana vina vyarta daritra jivana dashakari vitana more deha prema dana Without love of Godhead, my life is useless. Therefore, I pray that you accept me as your servant and give me the salary of ecstatic love of God. Without love of Godhead, my life is useless. Yes, without the love which is exchanged between Radharani and her beloved, my life is useless. If I cannot serve this love, my life is useless. If I cannot be the servant of the servant of the servant of this pure ecstatic love, my life is useless. Therefore, I pray that you accept me as your servant. <laughs> and now, we may think, yes, a servant has to be paid. What is his payment, his salary? Ecstatic love of God. The same ecstatic love which is exchanged between Radharani and her beloved. The same ecstatic love is our payment. Because if we feel that, then we know that they are happy. And this is actually the salary. When we feel this love, we know that they are happy. We don't want to feel the love. We want to feel that they are happy. And that's why we feel that. And then we are paid off. So, Gorabani Ji, this is uh, uh, in Sanskrit or Bengali, this Prema Dana mentioned. So, this Radharani saying, your payment should be Prema, Prema Dana, feeling. Like I say, Manjari was matching small hole in Radha Mohan's intimate Nikunja or Nibrit Nikunja pastimes. So Manjari was always preparing to 
who are ready to serve Radha and Radha's Moham. So, and they are watching how they feel, how they praying. And then Manjari gets so much feeling. Manjari and Radharani is the same feeling. So Manjari got so much Premadana. Actually, Manjari got Mahababa Dana or Madana. Yeah, Madana Mahababa. So this feeling exchanging, this is, I think, spiritual life. This is Radharani saying, I don't want anything but prema. I don't want anything. Actually, Mahaprabhu saying, I don't want anything but feeling, spiritual feeling, prema or Mahababa. Or Madana Mahababa. This I feel this bus. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is very beautiful. Yes. That's the point. By serving Radharani and her beloved, the kinkari feels exactly the same like Radharani. Radharani is satisfied when her beloved is satisfied. And the kinkari is then satisfied when Radharani is satisfied. So she feels also the satisfaction of Radharani's beloved. So that means she feels both. And that is like the verse is saying the payment, the salary. <laughs> So it's it's wonderful payment because actually what does it mean? If you could just feel with Krishna, then you would just have half of, of the whole exchange of Mahabhav because only what he feels you could feel. But a kinkari is feeling the whole scene, what Krishna feels and what Radha feels, the kinkari feels in one moment, the whole Madanakya Mahabhav, which is exchanged, the kinkari is right in that exchange. And she's serving and even, even make the Bhav higher, setting fire under the exchange of Mahabhav. So she is right in the middle and this is even more than Krishna can feel. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. He wants to have this experience. He wants to have the experience of Radharani's love for him, but also the Manjari Bhav. He wants to experience this. And the kingries, they have it all the time. So tell me, who is in a better position? The kingry or Krishna? This is the wonderful mercy we got. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is distributing such a wonderful gift we cannot, we, we cannot explain by words actually. We can just try to get a drop of the idea, a drop of the feelings, a drop of the maha, of the mercy. But it's the most wonderful gift a jiva could have. Nothing more higher than that. Unat Uchvala Rasa gift. Jai.
This is Jayananda's words. Gurudev is always telling again and no, again. No, not my one. <laughs> <laughs> We are so blessed, isn't it? So without that love of Godhead, which we were just talking about, my life is useless. Useless. Therefore, I pray that you accept me as your servant, as your maid servant, Swamini, and give me the salary of ecstatic love. Mahabhav, Madanakya Mahabhav. And in this mood, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. Text thirty eight. Rasa antarvesha haila vioga shurana advega visada danyekara pralabana. Separation from Krishna awoke various mellows of distress, lamentation, and humility. Thus, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spoke like a crazy man. Rade Rade, everybody in the basement. I think Gorabani probably got the lost lost the internet. So please say something from Janana Maharaj of uh, Radha Charandas Rade. Okay. <clears throat> this bus, 39th bus. This very famous bus. Yugaita nime shena, chaksha prabishaita, shunyaita jagasarba, gobinda birahename. My Lord Gobinda, because of separation from you, I consider even a moment a great millennium. Tears from, flow from my eyes like a torrent of rain and i see the entire world as void and this mahaprabhu is feeling so much biraha separation in gambira this so much eagerness so much feel separation we cannot imagine one moment become like uh, one moment is like yuga, like a uh, million years. One moment is million years. The separation feeling make us more eager to attend the Lord, <coughs> Ishtadeva. 
This is greediness. Oh, Gorabani came. This without greediness. Sorry, technical okay. problems. Yeah, so please go ahead. No, no, please finish. Yeah, okay, this is Laga Bajan or to attain the Siddha Swarupa. We need this greediness. And this separation make us so much greed. This morning also say, Gurudev saying, without greediness, we cannot attain the road. Narayan Mahara used to say, beg, borrow, steal. If we attach the road, we have Swarupa Nishta attachment, then love is coming. And then if we separate with our Ishtadeva, we feel so much sadness and so much hankering coming. Like Raghunath Das Goswami, if we read Birapa Ksmanjari, Birapa, separation from road, especially this happening, we are, we are in Siddha Deha, we are, we are seeing the road, or seeing the past time, or even enter the past time, then immediately this scene disappear. Then Ragnar Das was become crazy because most cherishable scene, most cherishable, most loving road will disappear. Like a material example, when we are child, sometimes we go, go, go shopping or go somewhere with mother. Like say, two years, three years, boy and girls, or maybe child, or maybe more or less baby. At that time, mother disappear, could not see mother, then children become crazy. Oh, my mom disappear. What to do? I, I'm lost and crying. Oh my God, what to do? And then many people come, Oh, what to, what to happen to you? Oh, my mother disappeared. I don't know where to go. This is situation. This Ragnar Das is, is, is hankering. And there's so much strong feeling coming and tears coming. Like when I was a child, mother disappeared, then crying, you know. Hey, mom, where are you guys? Where are you going? I'm alone. I'm lost. This is also Radharani's feeling. Lost Krishna. Like say, Radharani was sitting on the lap of Krishna. And some person said, Madhusuda, let's go. Then he, she become completely become crazy. Oh, Madhusuda, let's go. Oh, where's Madhusuda? Oh, what's happening? Krishna is there. Krishna is completely mad. What happening, Radha? <coughs> what kind of love Radha has? This Raghuna does also every time tasting. But we are too much observing material body. We don't have any greed. We don't. Tear does not come from our eye. Our heart is so like stone, very hard. So this is, this is, I feel this is like, like Ragnar Das Goswami showing us. Also this, like Radharan showing us. This is very spiritual, this kind of Siddha Deha. And then disappear and then come to material body. And that time especially, he or she feels like Virapaksmanji. 
Rade, Rade. Sorry. Thank you very much. I think you clearly described the feeling here of this verse also. Radharani is mad. She is missing her beloved. And that's why she's praying like this, Oh my Lord Govinda, because of your separation, I consider even a moment, a great millennium. Tears flow from my eyes like torrents of rain. And I see the entire world as void. So if we don't see the world as void, when we cannot serve, when we cannot be from any use in the service of Radha, then we may pray that one day this feeling will arise in our heart by the mercy of other devotees, by the mercy of Guru Mandri, other Mandris, and by the mercy of Radharani herself. If we don't have it now, we may at least pray that it will come one day. And by sharing again and again like we do now, step by step, the heart will be cleansed more and more. Because when such wonderful persons like now are here, I can see on the screen, persons who want to serve or serve Radharani, by their mercy, when we have this association, the heart gets cleansed. And when they uh, share their feelings with us, this is actually directly going in the heart and cleaning it, directly in the heart. Because when they have this experience, then it goes from heart to heart. If someone just reads something and is like a parrot, just again saying the same thing like me, then the heart will not be changed. But when a great soul, a Uttama Adhikari, is telling us something like this, he is giving us also the change of the heart that we can experience this in the future. So thank you very much for your kind association. So next time we will start again here and we will see what other prayers in Shikshashtakam are there and we will hear about the wonderful mood of Radharani like Jananda just explained when she's crazy and missing her beloved what she's actually praying it's most wonderful if we see it from the right view it is actually melting the heart and Guru Mandra is giving us the right view so we are very lucky I saw that Gurudev is maybe listening or cannot see him, but 
I think he's somewhere Ah, now oh. he appeared. <laughs> Beautiful, very nice. Very special, very nice. We are not one person. So that we know. I said our basement, but fortunately. <laughs> They come and Jai Shri Radhe. They cannot move at that place. See what they are. <laughs> Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. Ah. Wow. <laughs> so many great souls with you yeah. also. So wow. <laughs> I'm getting help from all of them, their vibration. <laughs> To me, to only one point and meditate. Wow. <laughs> so great. Good, very nice. <laughs> right. Lord Wani, thank you for your sweet. Thank you.